here at the Divest LA protest, trying to get LA to divest from Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo and other multinational corporations, they have harmed indigenous peoples. They have provided monies to destroy soils, waters, lands, ecosystems, not just here in North America, but all over the country and all over the world. There are reports that the LA City Council is close to divesting of all their money from Wells Fargo. So this is more of a rally and a protest and a celebration because it looks like they're on the verge of a victory. This is an extraordinary victory. The vote that we're gonna to get tomorrow, which we're confident of winning, it's an $8 billion business. So the budget for the, for the city of Los Angeles is an $8 billion and it will permanently exclude Wells Fargo from participating in that budget. For me, this is significant because it's one of the few instances that we see in this country in recent years where a government has actually stood up to the oil industry. The oil industry is running out of rationale right now, and the carbon industry is running out of rationale. A coal plant costs 3.5 to $5 billion a gigawatt. Today, to build a gigawatt of solar costs $1 billion a gigawatt. So nobody is ever going to build a coal plant again. The meteor has already hit. The dinosaurs are doomed, but they're walking around making trouble for the rest of us. They cannot beat us in the marketplace, so they have to take over our government. And I want to thank the people in this building, the leadership of City Hall, who said they may be able to corrupt our federal government, they may be able to corrupt our state government, but they're not going to corrupt the government of the city of Los Angeles. Thank you. It's good to see the media here. If I ever see the corporate media talk honestly about North Dakota pipeline investors, I won't be worried about global warming anymore because I'll know hell has frozen over. <laughs> We have plenty of neoliberal Democrats who claim to support science, yet they still support fracking. We have politicians who tell us they oppose Trump and Trump's agenda. If that's true, why aren't they here today? We need alternative energy, we need alternative media, we need alternative politics. You know, big banks, big oil, big pharma, let's get away from big. Let's realize we are only big when human beings come together, acknowledge our smallness, and stand in solidarity with each other. Yes. Solidarity with our indigenous brothers and sisters, with the homeless person on the street, and with the Muslim family halfway across the globe. That's right. And it's only fair that we are divesting from a bank after they divested from the human race. Thank you very much. So the mood was very upbeat today at the Divest LA protest. Very upbeat because there's going to be a vote soon this week to divest LA from Wells Fargo. It's like $8 billion. So everyone seems to be in a good mood. That's the best mood I've ever seen Robert Kennedy Jr. in because it's victory. Here's what I loved about what he said. He said that now solar power is cheaper to build than coal, which means there will never be another coal plant built in the United States, ever. That's a very positive thing. And right now they're all gonna march over to Wells Fargo and and serve them an eviction notice. Uh, so it's a, it's a good day today in Los Angeles for Divest LA and for the indigenous people and for anybody who's concerned about climate change and anybody who's concerned about direct action. So this is fantastic. Everybody's in a good mood, Divest LA.